Hey guys, welcome back to JM Farming Cattle. So on this video, uh, we doctored a calf and we, we just had one. It looked like it may have been a struggle birth. Uh, the eyes were pretty swollen, kind of popped out like a lot of white and it had a swollen tongue. So I think it might have been a struggle. Uh, the calf's also huge. Uh, so that'd be six heifers now and one bull calf. Pretty good year if I was gonna hold back. Uh, but also we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you guys our handling facility for the cows. Uh, it's just what we, me and my dad built about a year and a half, almost two years ago already. Uh, the tub pen and everything we built out of an old grain bin and it works really good. Uh, so I'll show you that. It's nothing too fancy here. Uh, just what we got going on, what we built for this feed lot. Not actually a feed lot, uh, it's just where I put my cows and nothing goes here but the cows. So I guess that's how it earned its name, the feed lot. So let's go check it out. So the ruts are pretty bad because we had to get into the, the cow pens earlier. But we put down a bunch of wood chips. Uh, it keeps the dust down. So far it's working really good. So this is my, uh, my pre-furt S04, I believe. That sounds right. Uh, we bought a new chute last year just because uh, the old chute that we had was not very friendly for one person. And so we went with this one. Now most of the time there's always two of us anyways, but we wanted something a little better. Plus, we like the head gate design. Because no matter how where you put it, it locks, there's no holes. So, it's all in this locking pen here. Works really easy, it's spring loaded if you want it to be. And then it just cuts. So you can run any time cows through it. Uh, one of the things that we really like about it the most is when we have a variety of size cows. So we have like a, if we're running like a 1300 pound cow through here, you know, their neck's a lot different. And if the next one's only like a 1100 pound, it locks them in tight and they can't jump back and forth, which works really good for all the shots that we give them or preg checking them, uh, using needles and blood samples. So over here is where the cows are. That's where the pins start. So we'll bring them in here into this first holding pin. From here, we can separate them uh, into our smaller pin with this gate. We put, oh, we've had 40 cows and about 20 calves all in this pen. So it's a pretty decent sized pen. Uh, that gate swings shut. And then we got our alleyway. That both pens have access to. So from here, we run them into our tub. And this tub we built from grain bin sheets. Uh, we just figured out our circle. It's actually a really big tub. And then from here is where it V's off. So if we put this gate here, they go through here, and then up to the chute. Uh, we got holes here because we'll put a cow and we'll slide it. Probably nor normally put two cows in there and then we put a pen back here. Or if we want to load to the trailer. We'll latch that gate. And then it curves. We got a little ramp to get up to the trailer. Uh, it just not much, like a foot, especially with calves, it really helps. So we just got wood chips in here, basically just to break up the dirt and the slickness. 
this is our big gate. So when the cows come, we can push them. Uh, this little gap, we've never had any problems with it. But the gate's really heavy, <laughs> almost too heavy built, but you know, it's not too bad. It's a little shorter than the sides, which which is fine. It's nice to see over and hit. Uh, we built this, so this is a no kickback. So if it's right there and the cows kick, it hits there and that's all the farther it goes. And then if you want to open the gate, Needs oil. Normally we'll spray that down. We just use a bungee cord instead of a spring. Uh, I built this. Just keeps it spring loaded enough. We always rest it. So that way it doesn't ever bend the post or start to pull it out of the ground. Uh, in time, I want to shorten this gate. It's nice because this gate will swing and it'll latch on that pole too. But I want to put a shorter gate, a walkway, so that way you can just jump on the railing and go around if you're by yourself uh, when you load out. Otherwise, this is pretty much it. So yeah, we built this. Uh, roughly two years ago. It, we don't use it a lot. Uh, I mean we do, but it's not overly abused by any means. And uh, so these grain bins, we just made, I think this is a 12 foot push tub. Uh, I think we normally, we can push about 10 cows if we want to through here. Uh, if we're loading a trailer, we'll put 10 through, 10 or 11. If we're working the squeeze chute, we'll normally do like five or six. It just, it flows a little bit better. They're not overly crowded. But we built this out of grain bins, like I said. Um, you know, you can find an old grain bin and for next to nothing. And if you want, you know, you can go find an old farm that's getting tore down. Ask if you can tear it down and keep it. Uh, offer to buy it or they might even pay you to get rid of it so that's it works really good really really good for a push tub uh, you know we didn't want to spend what are they like four or five thousand dollars on a push tub system so we built ours and it's actually bigger than the ones that you can buy so we really like this facility it's working really good for us we got a few changes that we'd like to do uh, these panels here are all freestanding panels, so they can all be lifted up at any point in time. All this can, actually. If anything, we'd like to have one more sorting pin. Uh, we got steps here, so you can just stand on here, reach over, hit the cows in. We use tubs to do the inside there. I haven't ever built any more yet. Well guys, that is all I got for you. Uh, this is our handling facility where we work all of our cows. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you got any questions on what we did here at the, the panels or anything, the old bench sheets, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll try and help you out. This is a really cheap way of making a nice facility. Uh, especially, you know, if you don't have, even if you had a large number of cattle, it would work really good too. You know, you might switch these out and put some steel ones in. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we also finished the flooring in the camper this weekend. Uh, we just got to basically put the booths back in and the couch. And that's it. And there will be a video on that. So if you're looking forward to that camper rebuild, uh, that will be coming 
probably in the next week or so we should have it all wrapped up and I'll get a video on that if you haven't already check out the part one and two of the camper remodel uh, it's gonna blow your mind it it's absolutely it turned out amazing we ended up doing all the carpet ourselves so we're really happy with that so be sure and uh, subscribe if you want to be uh, notified whenever there's a video make sure and hit that bell button Otherwise, uh, we'll see you guys next time on JM Farming Cattle. Thanks for watching.